food to talk about right now. In fact, Fantastic Food Fest is getting underway today at the Indiana State Fairgrounds. And one of the many vendors you will find there, none other than Grater's Ice Cream. And Tim Philpot from Grater's Ice Cream joins us this morning. Good morning to you. Good morning. You're a popular man, especially in this <laughs> weather, right? <laughs> Absolutely. Uh, 60 degrees in January, yeah. you can't count on too often. So. Perfect ice cream weather. And to that end, you've got a lot of varieties here. But there's a, a really unique option and way the ice cream is made when it comes to graters. Well, graters has been making ice cream by hand for 147 years. It's mm -hmm. a fourth generation family company. The grater family still owns and operates the company and we still make every pint by hand. We still pack every pint by hand and we ship it all over the country and especially into food shops and scoop shops here in Indianapolis. And as you mentioned, you make it smaller, just two and a half yeah. gallons at a two time. Two and a half and that's, uh, we don't put a lot of air into it. It's a very dense ice cream. So you get a different feel in your mouth, a different, uh, a different taste, you know, high quality, the best ingredients, the greater family insists on not sacrificing on any ingredients, but it's really the process that puts in chocolate chips the size of uh, people send us pictures of the chocolate chips, the way they break <laughs> up chocolate chunks. Wow. And so that's really a, a signature way that we make our ice cream that makes it different. You've been available in grocery stores for a while, but you just sort of recently expanded here to the Indianapolis area with stores. Right, we have three scoop shops here, one in Carmel, one in Fishers, and one right by Butler. Um, that have been here for a number of years, and you can walk in there and get an ice cream cone, a sundae, a shake. Uh, it's an old-time ice cream parlor. Mm -hmm. And then, uh, obviously, like you said, we're available in Kroger's and uh, the Market District here. Yeah. And there's a lot of places you can get our pine ice cream. And to that end, you have a, a specialty flavor that is out in January. What is that about? Right. Well, we have flavors all year long. That black raspberry chip is our signature flavor, and that's what most of our folks. But right now, it's a chocolate, coconut, almond, chocolate chip. Coconut almond, chocolate coconut almond, <laughs> chocolate chip. There's mouthful. so many inclusions in there, which is out right you now. Got it right. And that's I one see. of our uh, seasonal flavors that'll be here in January and February, and then we'll rotate through the season uh, with new flavors. But mm -hmm. we have a core of flavors. We have a new flavor, salted caramel chocolate chip, that's just oh. hitting the shelves right now. And I brought some of that this morning, as well as our signature black raspberry chocolate chip. What's better than ice cream in the morning, Matt? Right? And this There's color, look at this color, this purple yeah. color. A big fan of this as well. Yeah. Real quick, if you head out to the Fantastic Food Fest, I know you'll be there today. Right. What can people expect when they uh, head out to Fantastic Food Fest? Well, these are the flavors that we're sampling out there today, Matt. So we're sampling our coconut chocolate, uh, almond chocolate chip. We're so sampling our black raspberry chip, salted caramel chocolate chip, and then our, our vanilla, of course, for the ice cream purists uh, that are just vanilla ice cream fans because we make well, I believe the best vanilla ice cream out there. So stop by our booth. It's right by the Market District food truck. It's a fantastic food fest. I'm a big fan of both. <laughs> <laughs> Don't ask me to pick a favorite. I can't. I'm going to be too busy eating, so Sean's going to have to take over the show. Absolutely. After this. All right. Thanks so much for joining us again. No we'll problem. see you at the Fantastic Food Fest. And more information about all that on WTHR.com.